On November the 23rd of 2020, Paper Rex suspended their Valorant team over breach of integrity, after one of their players had violated their contract by competing under the banner of another team. After four long and uncertain months without fielding a team, Paper Rex re-emerged from the shadows, ready to rewrite their destiny. But what they did next was nothing short of audacious. They made a seismic shift by transitioning their entire CSGO roster to Valorant, with Benkai, Tommy, Devai, Forsaken, and Mindfreak. This move was a gamble of epic proportions, as the new roster had never played Valorant at the highest level. The stakes were higher than ever. Yes, my lord, and Devai is the lord and savior right now. Oh my gosh. In the and we just watched Witness on cam. Forsaken and Devai, oh have, have fun. However, Paper Rex wasted no time, rolling the dice on this risky endeavor. Just five months into their journey, they found themselves on the very cusp of making it to Berlin Masters on land. At the Stage 3 Finals, Paper Rex, newly improved with the addition of Sheba, faced their ultimate challenge. Bren Esports stood as the last barrier between them and a trip to Berlin. Has been the one to watch out for, and there you go, the holy prayers of Forsaken will hit the shots onto two so far. The gospel of Forsaken here, be heard here, black and blue, it's 5v2, and Forsaken is not done. Oh, oh. Oh, it's a servant from above! In the deal, it's all in Jesse Vaz for the Spectre. There you go, get the candle wax because this is the Paper Rex treaty right here. No other team can represent SEA better than Paper Rex makes roster strong results and now they're on the hunt. Paper Rex had done it, officially clinching their spot in Berlin, their first ever international tournament. It was a dominating performance all tournament long, and at the heart of this victory was their star player, Forsaken. They have everything, and on top of that, I do think that the players are pretty damn good, especially Forsaken. Berlin was a chance for him and the rest of the team to show that they were more than capable of hanging with the powerhouses of the other regions. Despite having their goals set high, unfortunately, Masters Berlin was a bigger challenge than they had initially expected. They suffered defeat at the hands of Korea's finest, Vision Strikers, followed by a loss to SMB from Turkey. The world stage was unforgiving, but Paper Rex gained valuable land experience, which would help them in the future. But another challenge was in store for Paper Rex, as they were forced to battle in the last chance qualifier gauntlet. This was their one and only shot at securing a place at Champions, the pinnacle of Valorant competition. The odds were stacked against them as they faced a fierce opponent, DWG from Korea. Unfortunately, their journey came to an end as DWG emerged victorious, and Paper Rex's season came to a close. The year of 2021 was a great learning experience for Paper Rex, and they knew that they were on the right path. With their eyes set on the 2022 season, they made a strategic move by welcoming Jing into their ranks, as Shiba departed for his mandatory military service. With the dawn of a new season arriving, Paper Rex emerged with renewed strength. They blazed through Stage 1, securing the number one seed in a coveted ticket to Masters 1 in Reykjavik. This qualification marked their second international appearance, and anticipation ran high. But in round one of the tournament, they faced a familiar foe, DRX, formerly known as Vision Strikers, the team that had dealt them their first defeat back in Berlin. Absolutely sensational! The dodge within the tube, and because of that, it's all fallen apart. The aggression of Stacks has countered, though, and oh. Dubai has just got massive. He's oh. run out of bullets, though, and Buzz has killed the final two. DRX! But they're losing players on the rotate with Jing going down. Now they try to break their way into sight, but there's the utility slowing them. And as they TP in, they are just going straight into Mako's hands. 13 to 8. Unfortunately for Paper Rex, history had repeated itself forcing them down to the loser's bracket. But Paper Rex refused to go out without a good fight. They were able to take down the guard in G2 to secure a remarkable top four placement. Up next was the number one Japanese team, Zeta Division. He's been dealt with, Ten's found him. Deep work towards CT now, you can see the blind coming out, Jin gets a chance, but he can't quite convert on it, big jump forward. Or oh, Zeta begin their legacy with the finals now calling as Forsaken, the only one alive. Two HP, Ten wants it, can't get it. Forsaken still stands. And this is it. Three. And the step on the corner. The unimaginable has happened. But Paper X's journey in Reykjavik would end there. Nonetheless, a fourth place finish was a testament to their resilience. 
and growing prowess on the global stage. Very enjoyable gameplay to watch. I just hope the Paper X are able to make it through the bracket again. They can concoct these really sick ideas on maps when they're given enough time. And I'm just wondering, again, another team where I'm wondering, how far can they go? Paper Rex continued their reign of terror within their region, with Forsaken and Jin serving as the twin terrors of the competition. I find a glimpse there. Here comes Bully for dropping on down. Forsaken and Jing. I mean, Paper Rex are just bananas. Right then and there, right? Mm -hmm. Like you mentioned, the map is just too much to handle. Again, oh Forsaken my God! Forsaken has an old. Forsaken oh! has a second. He has a third. Oh! Does he have a fourth? Oh! There he goes. Does he have a name for his name? And there he oh, even has a second kill. Oh! And finally, finally, this man. Gets the ace. No one in APAC can kill Forsaken and Jing. Valorant is like Paper Rex's playground. That's what we're thinking over here as we watch you guys. It's gonna be, however, one of the judge, one of the Odes to start, and another on this judge inside the pit. The vital enemy, <laughs> strike, really? Mind Freak, looking great. Forsaken with another. Ladies and gentlemen, Paper X will be the champions of the Asia Pacific region. They are the best of the best. I think Paper X could make the final. I think they are in the S tier. A resounding 16 to one run earned them yet another spot at Masters. As the stage shifted to Copenhagen, their first challenge was an unfamiliar opponent in Guild Esports, who claimed the top spot in Group A. Guild have been absolutely phenomenal so far in this tournament, but the question is, have they finally met their match in Paper X today? The repositioning Benkai has already worked his way around. The timing does tricks, even though about this one, and the answer is no. 13 fours a score line. And look at this, another day in the office, it seems like for Paper X. So much pressure on him. He swings through and he just cannot come up with it. Dubai wins it out. They make their way for the first time in Masters into this upper bracket. Paper X, however, proved their medal once again. But waiting on the other side of this battle was another European team in Fnatic, the top seeded team in their region. Fnatic don't know that already tapping oh, Orbital Strike no. coming through. Great stun. Durka in trouble. He's lit down to just one HP. Mind Freak grabs a frag, and I don't know if he expects him to be close, but it doesn't matter. The shots land, and Divide delivers. Paper Rex are going to the upper final. In a display of true dominance, Paper Rex secured a comfortable 2 0 victory, booking their spot in the upper final. However, standing in their way was none other than Optic Gaming, champions of Masters Reykjavik. The stakes and the pressure had never been higher, and Paper Rex was on the cusp of something historic. This was the moment they had been waiting for. The hunt also good for Paper X and Forsaken is behind them. He doesn't even need them though. Down sewers and Victor, the last player left in a 1v4 to try to hold on. Circumstances, perhaps, but with how poor they've been in clutches. It just doesn't matter. 13 to three on the side of Paper X. And they move right into Ye. This third map looking like a foregone conclusion here as Mankai gets it to half. He's gonna have to do it by himself. And no, Finesse does it at the end. 13 to nine responses. We're headed to map three. Anyone else? Rashi's falls. Could have been a moment there for Ye if he made the read. He is making the read though. Falling all the way back. The crowd feeling it. Yay outnumbered, and it's not gonna happen. History books have a finite amount of pages, and Paper X's story is not done yet. We have just witnessed history being made. Paper X, they are the first ever APAC team to make it to a grand final of Masters. Paper X rose to the occasion to upset Optic Gaming, making their first ever grand final. On the opposite side of the stage was FPX, another European team. There's been no team yet throughout the tournament, or in the world rather, we can say that confidently, that has been able to quell that kind of control chaos that Paper X brings. There is one final opponent to work at if they can control it, and FPX has the greatest shot now that they've been able to do with other teams, been able to set and dictate the pace. What does that look like against the fastest team in the world? Over the top, that's gonna be half under the fuse. Mind freak, an opportunity. No one's sticking it, it's all down to him. The shot's not found, no, and FBX, pure domination. Time Silently well. moves his way over. 30 seconds, Josh. 30 seconds left. He might be allowed a free plant here, Brent. He's just walking backwards, oh. though. Into the sideline of Divai. And that puts Paper X back level in the series. Socks, shoes, get him back on. So he can supplement it, and the kill's this time going their way. 
Weapon's not too good. Squeezing him from the back of halls. But Sagetsu shuts it down. Still Jing the Sancho play. Sagetsu! What a monster. Haberex within their grasps. Will not be denied. They're right to go to map five. The duel, well, not quite favored. The plan, though, Angel gets a spike down, but it's left down to him. And sure, the time pressure dodged, but FBX spent half the round just trying to get a res online. It's all down to Angel, and he can't handle it. Paper X are taking us to a fifth. Absolutely absurd. Ow. One step closer, Josh, one step closer. That's got them through the choke point as well. This is where things start to get very dangerous. Incredibly dangerous, but still forsaken. Performing under the pressure. To get to Ames, the reset! Absolutely ridiculous! And what a play! However, fate had other plans as the European Valorant scene reigned supreme once again. The dream of becoming the best in the world was so close, but slipped through their fingers. Once again, it was back to the drawing board for the Paper Rex camp, as the grandest event of the season loomed on the horizon. The competition was fierce, and the upcoming group play stage held no easy victories in store. Okay, Benkai, is this the group of death? Are you? Is it because Paper X are in this group? Is this the group of uh, death? <laughs> cannot believe what we have just seen. No defenses around. Nothing to be seen. A five v one to keep your tournament life alive, to keep the year alive, and nothing is found. But they just didn't deserve it today. This group is so difficult, and Paper X didn't come in playing their best ever Valorant. In a massive shock, Paper Rex were 2 0 by Latin American team Leviathan and then eliminated from VCT champions by Team Liquid. Once again, they fell at the hands of the EU. After giving their all throughout the season, this was a disheartening way to end the year. I've always thought that Paper Rex is going to have a steep fall off because their playstyle is so uh, one sided, you know? So. And with the VCT moving to a partnered league, it looked like the end of the road for a small organization like Paper Rex. But after all, in a surprising twist, Paper Rex received official acceptance into the VCT Pacific League by Riot. I'm glad they made it, uh, even though they're a smaller, newer organization. This was their chance for a fresh start, a clean slate to redefine their path. Unbeknownst to them, this journey was about to take them through another bumpy ride. I was thinking maybe he'd go and try and get that lockdown into play. Zelsis already finding another. It's left all onto Ben. This kill won't even grant him anything. He needs an instant shot and it's done. It is over. C9 have destroyed Paper X. Sent them home packing in a couple of hours. And that means we have to say bye bye to Paper X. We are sending them home. Paper X finished in last place at the opening event in Brazil, and the frustrations were mounting. They seem like the kind of team that is going to suffer from the fact that they didn't add a serious extra player to their team and didn't really try to make any evolution heading into the franchising. And in their second regular season match, they were stunned by Team Secret. It was a moment of reckoning for the team, a time to reassess and reconfigure their strategy. Paper Rex introduced something, a Russian duelist with remarkable skill who had previously been competing in the Japanese region throughout 2022. <laughs> <laughs> Something wasted no time in quashing any doubts with his exceptional performance. Now, now, pushing to be happened. Something lurking up above here. Knives drawn. Oh, Just no on the way. other side. Hey, his intro. It connects. A knife reset is in. Oh my God. Oh. No, don't worry. He's already dead. Nobody <laughs> gets the kill off of the point. <laughs> what is going on? I can't follow this. When we play with something, our team is like become even stronger with him because now we have firepower. When I play in Paper X, I feel like I play with my friends, with like my family. As they headed into the playoffs, something proved himself invaluable to the team's success, solidifying his spot on the starting roster. Paper Rex continued doing as they have always done, fighting tooth and nail against all the odds. But the ultimate challenge awaited them in the form of DRX a team that had always eluded their grasp, undefeated in prior encounters. The biggest rival probably DRX. DRX? DRX. 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 We never even win DRX before. 
Like even in Scream, they so good. It's one of those things where you just think that DRX is our kryptonite. Everyone always says we'll never beat DRX. This this haunts us every time, and then we have to meet them every time for some reason at international tournaments. The bracket just work out that way. But Mako being so low, it's way too risky for him to just play bait. Paper X are just playing tight. No, no funny business. Mako not able to clutch it in Paper X takedown fracture. What do you even say? They're just destroying them. Yeah, they're stopping DRX. This is not something I have ever had to say casting DRX in Korea. Frustration. And he's going to get shorted for the final kill of the 2-0. Paper X book their ticket directly to the grand finals here at VCT Pacific. They earn all those bonuses. DRX, once a formidable adversary, was comfortably brushed aside by Paper Rex in a stunning display of skill. The Grand Finals brought Paper Rex face to face with DRX once again. And this time, the Koreans were hungry for revenge. It seemed Paper Rex's long awaited moment to lift a trophy was slipping through their fingers once again. But Paper Rex was far from finished. Seven seconds remaining. Applies it to the corner. RP now needed to clutch it out. He's out of time, and Mind Freak will get the final shot. 13 to 8, we are going the distance! Paper X trying to pull off the reverse sweep. Map 5 on the horizon. One final map to end this climactic showdown. It's not receiving anything. Zest gone, and it feels like this could just be it. The orbital strike is available. Mind Freak drops down the smoke. The hill comes in. Forsaken will have him. And surely, that is it. And it is! Devai will be the one to drag them over the line! 13 to 6! A reverse sweep and a five map set. Paper X, our inaugural VCT Pacific champions. We have crowned a new king. DRX has fallen. It wasn't a clean victory, but Paper X finally got the job done. They triumphed over one of their biggest rivals, bringing a major trophy home to Singapore. The decision to bring in something proved to be the right call, as the Russian was able to win the MVP award. The team savored this moment but they knew that their journey was far from over. Masters Tokyo loomed on the horizon, and something was eager to make a grand debut by winning this tournament for his team. Tragically, just as the anticipation for Masters Tokyo was reaching its peak, Paper Rex received a crushing blow. Something Paper Rex's best player in recent months and their ace in the hole was unable to compete due to visa issues. The team is now faced with the daunting task of taking on the world's best with a substitute player. Something the player that was carrying them through uh, VC specifics is not here. We can confirm to you that today it will be CGRS that is going to be subbing in and playing. <laughs> but after I build this, I can't like, play like something style. <laughs> when I'm walking onto, on the stairs, I feel like overwhelmed. Uh, it's going to be big shoes to fill because he is so impactful in all those little microaggressions, right? The Reyna in some of these instances, but the Jet in others, the guy's a beast. After beating them twice already, Paper X got the chance to complete the hat trick over DRX as they faced off in the very first round. There it is with the flash, re-swing from Jing. And it's up to Zest to try and extend the play. There's no chance in hell. That's four to finish for Jing. And map one is Paper X. One man against the world. Let's keep his team in it. The extension of play, is it there? Not quite at all, Paper X. Today, Josh, whimsy rules the day. Despite not being at their very best, they had managed to defeat them once again, proving their status as the number one team in the Asian region. However, their joys were short-lived as Fnatic, champions of lock-in, proved too big to overcome in round two. Nevertheless, Paper Rex refused to back down as they always have done. They surged forward, taking down the top Chinese team in Edward Gaming, followed by claiming the scalp of the top NA team in NRG. Oh, to go. He's playing anti flash and now it's on Finesse! The IGL, the captain, to try to take us in OT, but the voice says no! You shall not pass this point! Paper Rex do the impossible! They eliminate NRG, a team! It has not been outside of the top three at a Masters or Champions event. In a remarkable turn of events, they found themselves just one series away from making yet another grand final. Standing in their way was EG, 
a team still seeking their first Masters victory. One last map to decide which team faces off against Fnatic in the Grand Finals tomorrow. Oh, surely he's finished. It's a 1v1 to save them in the series. The spike needs to be planned and the comm knows it. He slowed it all the way down. He's playing it safe. The shot starts to play. There needs to be the plan. There needs to be the fight for it down. Come on it. EG was finding their form at the perfect moment of the season, narrowly edging out Paper Rex in a grueling 3-2 victory. For Paper Rex, a valiant effort it was. The resilience they displayed was a promising sign, heading into the highly anticipated Champions Tournament. It's just very proud of us again. I mean, like, I don't think no one has expecting us to be this far this time. But I guess we proved the doctors wrong, you know? So yeah, I mean, we have fun. I mean, like, for me personally, I have fun. With something returning back to the roster, Paper Rex knew they were finally on the brink of winning their first international tournament. Adding to the stakes, Jing announced that this would be his last tournament before heading off for mandatory military service. Everyone in Singapore has to go to the army and I'm of that age right now. I'm just proud of everyone in my team for going through this journey with me. I don't know what's like waiting in front of my life, but I just wanted to give it my all, like really all, so I wouldn't have any regrets. I mean, this this from Paper X is just too much to handle. We saw it on Split, we'll see it here on Pearl. An inevitability, Klaus falls, Paper X take down another. Two. Position's gotta be known, sees no connection. Spam through, but a crossfire is too damn good. The team's mantra became clear. It was now or never. Unlike Champions 2022, group play was a breeze for Paper X. This momentum they had built was invaluable, as they now faced their toughest challenge yet. Loud, the reigning 2022 world champions, seeking to make history with a back-to-back -back victory. To close this one out all the way through, Jing, Satchelin, classic gameplay, running and gunning, lest you do not stand a chance. The chances going as fast as angle is disgusting. Light work for him. It's two kills, two is the Bucky. Not with the Bucky. Oh, he had to do it to him. And it's just over, isn't it? Complete it collapse, is. mind freaks. The last one left would have to pull off. A miracle is 13 to 2 for our second map. Loud. Cornered them out wide in the open. Let's towards the back. So much more to do here. The reposition and the running back Jing is disgusting. Kawazine. He's the series locked off. now. It's absolutely done and dusted. Blocked off entirely. It's an absolute heroic attempt, but Paper X have done it. In a thrilling showdown, Paper X achieved one of the biggest victories of their season, claiming the scalp of one of the most dangerous teams at Champions. Up next was a highly anticipated rematch of their Tokyo encounter against Evil Geniuses. Paper Rex was determined to exact revenge. At Masters Tokyo, Paper X did not have something on the roster, but he is here now and is going to be facing off against Demon One. And Mimi, this is setting up, it's setting up a, a war between these two. Also here, but they do not, they're not ready for him. They do not predict this. Mind Freak able to gun down two, and suddenly we're in a one for one. Ethan, he's been strong so far. You tell him, oh! he gets the headshot. Ethan with the 3K takes it across the line. Still so much work to be done. The flash in, Jing swings, Ethan gets the challenge, finds himself a third, suddenly have the overstepped. But with six HP, it's just not quite enough. 13 to nine, Paper X rally back on their map, pick a fine, and they take us the distance once again. He's coming through, they still haven't identified his position. Sees the corner, the shoulder, finds the kill. Even one now, to be watching the angle, is calm. Spot on the flank, forsaken, he's getting pinched. Oh, he's one of the back of the vulnerable. It almost sets up for it, but it doesn't matter. Dubai comes away with another 3K. The flash across, Mind Freak about to swing the corner. He does so, and he puts him down. 15 to three, a two and one victory. Paper X, they advance into the grand finals. Paper X took down EG in a thrilling battle, booking their spot in the grand finals of champions. Their dreams were so close, but they needed to win just one more match. One more victory against EG to lift the trophy. For Jing though, this is the final ride. This is the last dance. One more chance to try to lift the trophy. The moment you've been waiting for is finally here. The agents are locked in and we are ready. There's five players coming our way and Dubai has fallen. Forsaken now. It's all on him to try and stop the rod, stop EG. He's desperately trying, but it may not be enough. As Mind Freak now, divide or not, he's gotta go. He takes down Kong, but the trade for
for Giorgamo is there. EG, map one. They're waiting for the check, and here it comes. The swing and a miss from D1, and something is just a straight up killer. Two back to back. Ethan gets a chance to punish. He's not clean enough. Something is absolutely demonic right now. Trying to get across the line. Paper X are holding on here. They want to tie up the series. Get us back to a 1 1 score line. Paper X. Body by back starting to get zipped up. My freak looks dead to right. He is. Oh, Jogamo. Unbelievable performance. And now it's all on Jing. And it's not going to happen. That's a little clear. We can already see towards drop down. One player's waiting to buy. Has to sit back. Jogamo's planting. He's, He's gonna, gonna have, have the showstopper. Goal. This is it, this is huge. Divine now, gotta be careful. He's a little ahead of expectation, but come on the way. He's gonna take him down. Still try to dig deeper. The paint, it, it didn't connect. He found nothing. It's a 3v3. Still anyone's game here. Jing, the next to try and step into the ring. Dima, one on the other side. Ethan's found Mind Freak is down to two. This could be it. Another chance for Jing, it's all over. EG are your Valorant World Champions. Paper Rex's dreams were crushed by evil geniuses, who completed a remarkable Cinderella story of their own. For Paper Rex, it was brutal heartbreak once again. They had come so very close, experiencing two devastating failures in Grand Finals. Coupled with the departure of one of their best players in Jing, this was an agonizing point in their VCT journey. From the 2022 to 2023 season, Paper X emerged as a beacon of hope for the entire Asian Valorant scene. They stood as giants as the only Asian team to make an international final, consistently taking down juggernauts from all around the world. Their journey was a testament to their skill, determination, and the growing prowess of Asian Valorant esports. As Moniette replaces Jing on the starting lineup, Paper X's future looks promising. But the question remains, can the team maintain the remarkable form going into the 2024 season? But there is one thing that remains certain. Paper Rex will entertain us like none other every single step of the way. If this is my real last tournament and I never come back, I hope the fans just remember like this era of Paper Rex.